Hey, what's up everyone? AJ Rice Crypto here, here to give you a really important market update. So last week when I did the market updates, you know, I sent it out to my editors so it looks really good for you guys, but then you don't get that update to the next day. So what I'm doing now, I'm recording this, I'm gonna edit it myself and I'm gonna put it out the same day so you're getting the right information as close to as when I film it as possible. So I, there's a couple things I wanna go over today. First of all, I wanna go over Bitcoin's price action. I wanna look at some macro stuff like the dollar and the total and total three chart to look at all coins. And at the very end, we're gonna look at some really important levels for Solana and Cardano. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video. Let's get into it. All right, so here we are on the Bitcoin daily chart. And there's something I really want you to pay attention to on the right here is the visible range volume profile, okay? The VRVP, very important indicator that I want you guys to have on your charts for if you're charting or you're just getting started, this is a must have indicator because it shows you where the volume in the chart is, right? So as you can see, this line here would be the point of control or where the most volume is. And then see how it gaps down here and it gets slow that would be called a low volume node and then it would pick back up here so generally when you would think that the price would go back to the point of control which is around 42,740 so or so is the price more likely to come up to the point of the control or is it more likely to come down through the low volume node into this next price level, you know, which is actually below a support resistance, 38,000 is a big support resistance, it's actually below that in the 37s. So let's zoom in here on the two hour chart and look at the smaller time frame. So here, this, these blue lines you see, th this is the local downtrend Bitcoin has been in since it started coming down, you know, about last week, right? And as you can see, Bitcoin is in a precarious spot with where it got rejected right there. First of all, the numbers there, the negative, the 16, negative five, that would be the dual band strength index indicator on Market Cipher. Make sure you click the link down below if you want to get Market Cipher. But anything higher than a 14 is a pretty high degree of certainty. And as you can see in this spot here, like I just circled, is that Bitcoin's getting rejected from this support resistance line at 40,000, and it also simultaneously got rejected from this local downtrend as well. This is all bearish signs kind of pointing to the downside coming down on the oscillator, increasing in the money flow. It's looking like Bitcoin is more likely to come down to test this support resistance line around 30, you know, 38,000 in the meantime, which would, you know, put it down to the bottom of this trend. So if you're out there and you're trying to figure out, you know, should I be going long on all coins? Well, first you have to consider what Bitcoin is doing and then you can see that bitcoin is getting rejected from both the local trend line and a support resistance line so what i would do if i were you i would draw this trend line myself and set alarms on both sides of it and on the support resistance line so if it breaks that trend line you can say oh snap bitcoin's breaking out it's time to look for longs or if you know it loses support resistance you can go oh snap let's just start looking for short so you want you don't want to guess you want to react and you want to like set up until you have your setup clear. So when the alarms go off, it gives you that opportunity to make the right trade. That's what I'm trying to do is to set it up for you to give you the right opportunity. But as you can see, there is hope for the upside because the, you know, the price action is far below the point of control, but it is heading down right now on the two hour chart. So, and if it was to break out to head towards the point of control, that alarm would go off on your phone and you would know what to do. Next, I want to look at the dollar. This is a two hour chart, just a quick overview of the dollar. So basically when the dollar goes up, when the dollar gets powerful, the markets get weaker. It is that simple. But you know, so right now the Dow, the dollar on the two hour is going up, but I really want you to pay attention to the dollar when it gets to these levels here. All right, because you know, these are levels the dollar could turn around. So I'm kind of waiting right now on the dollar to get up to these levels. I'm gonna see, is it gonna get rejected from this support resistance from back here? Or is it gonna get rejected from this support resistance over there? So those would be the points when I'm watching the dollar. Okay, we're, near, we're getting near the time the dollar could reverse. And when that happens, you know, then we're more likely to get in a trade if we wanted to go long. Because right now, with the way Bitcoin's getting rejected and the dollar's going up on the two hour, it's looking like it's time to short. So this chart right here will be the total chart, all the crypto coins, Bitcoin, Ethereum, all the altcoins, all the stable coins added together in one chart, right? Very interesting. This is the this is the total chart. So it's actually sitting at a very important support resistance level at one and a half trillion dollars. So and it's also kind of just like I said before, right? It's kind of in that low volume node. So what's going to happen? Is it going to come up back up here to this value area where this volume level is here or 
Or is it going to come down to the point of control, which is, you know, 1.38 trillion, which is actually unfortunately below this support resistance level. So let's zoom in on the two hour chart and get a better look. As you can see, with a 16 on the dual band strength index, you know, coming down on the oscillator, red dot on market site for B, it's looking like we might lose this $1.5 trillion support resistance. And at that point, we'd be kind of be looking for to the next support resistance line on the way down. So this is kind of adds to the bearish narrative. Unfortunately, I know a lot of altcoins popped up, you know, eight, nine, 10%, but that's because they fell so far. Just like when anything pumps, it's going to correct. Well, it's going to correct the other way when we're falling. But I do want you to know that, you know, the dollar is gaining strength. The Bitcoin is losing strength and the and the total chart is going down as well, especially when we look at the total three chart. You can see that this little local trend line, these blue lines right here and right here at the total three chart, you can see these local these little blue lines right here, this local trend line that we're in on the total three. And as you can see, you know, it, it kind of tried to come up to fight for this is the total three chart, by the way. This is just all the altcoins minus Bitcoin minus Ethereum. And this thing's getting rejected by that support resistance line as looks like and it looks like it's going to head down to this trend line here. So, you know, kind of looking for shorts on the altcoin as well, not really looking to buy anything right here at the moment. If, if I haven't already sold my bag uh, when it comes to trading, I'm certainly looking for shorts, especially especially with this oscillator setup. Looks like things are coming down in the meantime. So first of all, I want to get to Solana. And this is really important, really important if you are a Solana trader. This support resistance level, oh, this support resistance level right here is probably the most support important support resistance level on the Solana chart. We are looking at the weekly right now, but I'm not looking at the weekly to show you where this blue line came from, why this is a very important support resistance level on Solana. So when we go to the daily here, we will kind of zoom in and realize that, you know, Solana had its big run up. As you can see, it actually got rejected from this line twice on its way up. You know, back when it was moving up in December, it hit its local top around, you know, 127, 126, something like that. And since has came down and has tested this line twice already already has tested this line twice so you know we kind of have to ask ourselves is this the point where solana dips down touches this line and continues up or is solana going to unfortunately lose that support resistance level and this is what we kind of want to investigate and look at the facts here so let's look at the two hour chart and as you can see on the two hour chart, like several other charts here, unfortunately, with a 16 negative five on the dual band strength index, the point of control is above. That is good, but it is only for the visible range, only the charts that you can see, the visible range volume profile. But based off of this, I would say that it's very likely for Solana to come back down here, you know, down to maybe 78 to retest this line. If you were to short from here to here, that would be about an 8% trade. You know, definitely maybe you could be looking for a short with Solana. But when we go back to the daily, we kind of have to consider like the volume profile and realize, you know, what is this thing telling us? The point of control on the daily is actually all the way down here at 58 as, you know, Solana did spend a little healthy amount of time like trading in this volume area, this little range down here, right? So we got to ask ourselves, what's more likely to happen? Solana getting up to here because just like the other charts, it is in the middle of a low volume node. So we have to really, this support resistance line on Solana, this price right here is 70 8.4 78.2 that is the biggest support resistance level on the solana chart it is putting up a fight at the moment but i want you to have an alarm set on that level if you are holding solana or if you are looking to trade solana as in it is the most important level in the chart and like i said on the two hour it does look like it's coming down in the short term so definitely keep a close eye on that support resistance level and now lastly let's over and take a look at cardano this is the daily chart for cardano and similar to bitcoin Bitcoin, similar to Solana, uh, where the price action of Cardano is sitting in a low volume node. So when you are in a low volume node, you know, it, it, it kind of works. It works a couple different ways, right? Because you're, it's very likely that Cardano is going to go to where the volume is, right? So we know there's volume up here at 61 cents, but there's also more volume down here at 38 cents. And, you know, this one is because it's pushing all the way back to, you know, to the beginning of 2023 is actually sitting at 26 cents. But really what I want to look at on Cardano is this support resistance level right here. Very important support resistance level for Cardano at 46 cents, 46.3, right? So because this is the point that it came up and from its local high back in 2023. So let's look at the two hour and investigate this level here. So as you can see, 
Cardano lost that level and is now above it and is now retesting this support resistance level. But let's take a look at the oscillators, right? It looks like we have, you know, we're kind of coming down the bench here. It looks like we're moving down the bench and we're in the red in the money flow on market cipher B. So just like Solana, I want you guys, if you're holding Cardano, if you're trading Cardano, to have an alarm set at the 46.3 level, very important level. What I'm saying is that is the it already kind of wick below this so we also kind of want to keep an eye on that level as well but you know if we lose this and continue down it's more likely that when we go back to the daily that this thing is going to end up where the volume sits which is around here around like 36 37 cents so is solana going to bounce and continue up is cardano going to bounce and continue up or are they both going to lose very important support resistance lines and fall down to where the volume sits so that is the question but we don't guess we do not guess we react we do these charts we make these setups ourselves we draw the support resistance lines we set levels we draw the down the down slopes the downtrends we set levels so if it breaks out of the downtrend we know to go long or if it loses the support resistance level or the downtrend we know to go short i don't want you guys to guess i don't want you to think oh it might it might it could no Use technical analysis, use TA, use charts to your advantage and set alarms at these important levels so you can react and make the correct move. Never guess, react. My name's AJ Writes Crypto. Get rich or get wrecked. Make sure you smash that like button and I'll catch you tomorrow. Later.